Yeah, so this is Derek Times. I'm one of the co-chairs, and I am calling our meeting to order. Hi, my name is Derek Times, and uh, I am a beautiful brown ball game, black game, and I'm one of the co-chairs calling the meeting to order on the 21st of the September of the uh, The September 1st is developing operation offices, and they are the There are seven of us in this room and it's great to see what we're going to do. Okay. Roll call? Yes. All right. Uh, so, how many secretaries for the commission? Do both all by memory? So, I have a list in front of me. All right. I'll do the easy part first. Yeah. Super. I'm here. Thank you. Sarah Rosso. Here. Calling roll. Okay. Got it. Um, Derek Times. Here. Denise D. Simon. Um, Captain Calhoun. So the economy is here. Um, Teacher per safety. Christopher Robinson. Guillermo Velasquez. Julian McClain. Calvin. Ecker. Calvin's not here. Calvin. Um, Calvin is, is, is resigning because of their schedule, but okay. I don't think they've notified the mayor's office yet. All right. That's fine. I'm just taking roll. The, uh, so, oh, so I'll take Porter. I'll take Porter. I'll take Porter's not here. Who's Krauss? Krauss is not here. Um, Maria Montano, she's notified us that she's not be here. Lenny Orbovich. Yeah. <laughs> I've been looking at him the whole time. Should I have my I think I have everybody. I just got Lenny. Yeah. All right. If, uh, if I miss anyone, we'll uh, correct the record, but um, a record of who's here and who is uh, not here. And who's notified us. And um, if, uh, if uh, Calvin's uh, notice is in before the day, yeah, has been in before the state, then we'll, um, we'll remove him from the. Uh, we have a forum uh, there. Thank you. Um, item two, reading an approval of October minutes. Uh, yeah. I'll make a motion that we approve the October minutes, October 2023 minutes. I think it's a second. Second. That or you can add it electronically, so hopefully you can take the time to look over the minutes so you don't have to do it now. They're the October minutes, not the November minutes, because we didn't have a meeting in November, so we don't have uh, November minutes. We also did not have an opportunity to approve November, not approve the October minutes. So that's why they're before you in December. Uh, if there's any other comments, you have your opportunity. Uh, all in favor of accepting minutes of October? Aye. 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 All right, so moved. Um, item three acknowledgement of public comment. Um, that usually is uh, me or someone else who has been looking at the um, inbox for the commission email address. Um, I did not check it today, so I don't. Of any recent emails that would be that were addressed as public comment. Do so you sometimes are yeah, um, taking a look at the? I don't see Sue right. Yeah. Oh yeah, she is. She's the main the main oh, picture there. 
Who's the, have you noticed any emails in that would be considered public comment? You're muted. You're muted, Sue, if you're trying to comment. Yeah, I was, I was trying to scroll. Um, no, the, I'll, I'll check right now, too, um, but I haven't seen anything that would constitute a public comment. All right, let's keep moving forward. Um, item four, reports of officers and standing committees. Uh, do we have any co-chair um, reports? Section of the city idea manager, Dr. Phil Ford. Yes, she she was invited. I mean, she's going to get the invites um, each each month. Um, she was able to make the last meeting. Uh, but she, um, she didn't uh, confirm that she'd be able to make it this time, so she's not able to. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll have a, a public uh, meeting on a during the commission. You know, we'll have a public acknowledgement of her her role in relationship to the commission uh, when she's able to attend one of our regular monthly so to be part of the record. Yeah, and I I think we should just add to this that uh, we. We were in meeting with her last week, the mayor's office, and that meeting I thought was well. Um, because she was here, and she was here uh, and witnessed her enthusiasm about working with us. And uh, I feel good about it. I think it's going to be an asset to anyone else. Did you have that meeting to comment about? I would just to acknowledge who was there. It was Derek, myself, uh, Billy, Billy, and Maria. So it's very Sarah, yes, Sarah, 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 Julia, um, Julia? Yeah, Julia, 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 I just wanted to pull out the one point that uh, that was made, and that is that we, uh, as we're talking about our community, that we're actually talking about our community, and that is one one part of the community it's important um, that we acknowledge the L D the G D the C the I the A uh, as all major parts that provide to the arts and culture. And she she understood that. So yeah, yes, Amber was also awesome. yeah. So I just wanted to just reiterate that I, I don't think we can say that enough about our work and what we who we're focusing on going forward. We are going to be part of the community, all of the action. Okay, um, number two, the 2024 calendar approval form. I can't you go. I think, uh, Sue, were you working on that? Um, um, I, I was actually wanted to say, like, I, I can cannot hear language except for you, Billy. Everybody else is very muffled, um, so I can't really follow what's being said. Um, you asked me about the calendar. Yeah, we're on the agenda item. Um, co-chair's report, the second of two co-chair reports uh, is the 2024 calendar. We um, had talked about the executive committee creating a Google form to solicit input on what might be the consensus of uh, the time and day each month to for the regular meetings in 2024. I, I, I do have it ready to go. Um, I will distribute to the executive committee just to make sure it's what we were looking for. And um, we can circulate over the next couple of weeks. Okay, that'll be good. I'll, I'll, work, I'll connect with you and work with you on that so that we get it out. Okay. 
Um, but please, please be mindful that we, I, like I know I can't hear you. I don't know if others can't hear you as well, but. I think that, I think you're probably um, identifying a problem because this is being reported uh, that if you can't hear well that other people who are um, logging in or viewing this probably are experiencing the same thing. The, the trouble is that the computer that is connected to us, that puts us in the Zoom meeting, has a microphone here near the front of the room, and it needs to pick up the sound uh, that is coming through the audio system or directly from the person. So we have to have a pretty good volume. I don't know that turning up the volume helps as much as each speaker talking loudly into the microphone so that the volume itself doesn't have to be so much. It's, that's starting to cause some and also, if you're not speaking, turn your microphone on so it doesn't pick up the. That'll tap down the feedback if only one mic is on. Uh, Richard, so Richard is suggesting we do a test of each mic around the table. So, can you hear me soon? This is Derek time. Um, I'm sorry, I'm losing, I'm losing the screen. Derek, I can hear what you just said now, but if you've said anything before, I didn't hear it. Okay. Want to try your microphone? We need your feedback. Hey, so it's Lenny. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Thank you. Hey, Sue, this is Guillermo. I can hear you. <laughs> I can. Oh, okay. Good afternoon. So this is Chris. Hey, Chris. Uh, Sue is Richard. I can hear myself too. Yeah, Richard. I think that mic is the issue, or maybe because it's picking up. You sound very, very much like Sean Connery in your. <laughs> I think what it is is being this close, and that helps. <laughs> okay, so she expressed she was the only one that expressed a problem. Was there anyone else online that's having a problem uh, hearing what we are saying, or are we all good? Sarah. That would be Sarah, yes. Sarah, are you good? Sarah? I think I heard you ask for the pirates update, but it's still a little muffled. Is that correct? You can hear us talking clearly? Um I can mostly hear. I'm probably going to need some help repeating um, for clarity if you have a specific question, but I can mostly hear what's happening. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, our treasure is not here. Uh, moving on to uh, Section B, Treasure's report. Do we, is there any other person that reports on the treasure, or do we need to pass? Well, in, in terms of the sure update, we do have the Spanish version and the English version of the sure ready. And um, we'll get some of both down here as soon as possible. But other places that are interested in it, uh, commissioners or others can just uh, email the commission and we'll uh, find a way to get them to you. Well, we can. Or we, or we can contact Maria, who has them in the mayor's office, and we'll make sure that we can. And they look beautiful, by the way. I want to applaud whoever did that. Beautiful. Um, Denise. Oh, okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, the commission budget. 
Excellent. No update on that, uh, please. Okay, very good. Um, okay, the secretary's report. Back to you, Billy. All right. This item is um, regarding commission officer elections. Uh, commissioners have terms from their appointment uh, by the mayor and confirmation by city council, as we all know. But internally, we've developed a structure that has six officer positions. Those officer positions, the term is from January 1st through December 31st. So right now we have six officers, all six of whom um, either need to be reaffirmed in their um, officer position or uh, a vacancy becomes into existence and we need to fill the vacancy. So currently, um, it's, well, I can speak for myself, I'm stepping down as secretary, uh, as the secretary for three years, so I'll um, not be secretary after uh, this evening, but I will um, assist um, a new secretary, and I'll continue to do the role if there is no secretary, uh, at least through February 2028. So that, um, is um, will be vacant and perhaps filled tonight. The other positions that um, right now need to be filled are or confirmed that the incumbent is staying are the three co chairs of the uh, treasurer, Denise D. Simone, who is not here, and also um, Cece Catherine Calhoun. She's the outreach coordinator, that's the sixth officer of the position. Um, so even though um, CC is new on the commission. The officer position is filled an annual cycle. She's still the remainder of the, the existing term that she stepped into during this calendar year. But that, but that one is also um, um, needs to be reconfirmed. I think without Denise and CC, we can't do anything. I have no notification of their intention that I'm aware of. I haven't seen the notification, so I think that we just have to hold on those two. We have all three co-chairs uh, present, and um, the secretary is here, and I've already explained why. I think the next step on this agenda item is to um, understand the um, intentions of the, the three co-chairs. Um, ladies, you want to go? Um, I was fortunate enough to be one of the very first people elected to serve in this role. And um, I'm very proud of the work I've done and um, wish that, I, you know, there in some way I could continue to contribute. Um, but I'm just, I, I can't do all this work anymore. So I'm I'm not, I will finish out December, of course. I will not be running again. And I won't accept nomination. Are you going to stay on the commission or, and not be an officer? I haven't decided. Okay. I will fulfill my term through February. Let me put yes. it that but I don't know if I'm going to put myself forth to be nominated, renominated. Well, I think it was explained to us, I think Maria expressed that it, it would be more so a reappointment for us. But so you have to decide yet if you're going to stay on as a commissioner and not a and, uh, co chair. Okay, thank you. How about you, Sarah? Is she still on with us? No. No. I don't know what she's doing. Um, I am willing to, myself, I'm willing to uh, stay on the commission. Um, and I'm willing to serve going forward. Uh, 
Um, so we can't speak for Sarah, we can't speak for Catherine, we can't speak for uh, Denise, but we have three out of the six. So uh, Billy, we're hoping that you stay on. That is an officer, but that is a member. I think you are valuable to to us. And I'd love to see you and just remain in condition members. Please consider that. With all due respect to the chair, that's not the agenda I'm on. I know. <laughs> I know. But that thing that you're expressing, you know, what our intentions are. So, in, in terms of the Secretary's report, that I know we're on, um, exactly. we have the uh, Commission Officer elections. There's, what we understand now is that um, uh, Heilman, the current Secretary, is not going to be the Secretary after the evening. Who Kerr, the one of the three co chairs, is not going to seek to be uh, co chair. Uh, Sarah Rosso is back, so maybe we can find out if. Sarah is interested in um, continuing. continuing as the co-chair, and if, if so, um, but whatever the decision is, then I'll, um, I have an, an idea about how to proceed after that. Sarah, do you have comment? Um, I am mostly interested in somebody else serving as co-chair, um, but I do have a particular concern and interest in supporting an effective transition and supporting um, the the transition of this group overall with some new staff support. So I guess that's what I would say. And I'm um, I I would really love to see some new people step up and take on some leadership um, and support the work of this commission, but. Um, let, let's see what happens. I think we need some, uh, yeah, anyway, that's all. That's a non-answer, but that's what I would say is that I'm concerned about, mostly I'm just concerned about transition. That's all. I want to help support transition and then hopefully turn things over to some new folks. So I'll continue to help support for as long as I can until we have a thoughtful and effective transition. So are you willing to be reconfirmed uh, tonight and then um, we address this, address it as a pending vacancy, um, proceed with the transition. Because what we're faced with tonight is that your term as co-chair expires. And so if, if you do a non-answer, that means it's a vacancy. Um, you can do it that way, that's fine, but it would be a vacancy if, if we don't have someone to fill it tonight. You either have to say I'll continue in it, even if it's not your intention to do a full term, but either have to decide to continue or it's just automatically a vacancy on December 31st. Um, I, I yeah, I guess, um. I'm sort of trapped into saying, yes, I will continue if I believe in a thoughtful and smooth transition. So, um, you know, but if there are other people that want to step forward, I just want to say for the record that I strongly encourage that. Okay, so we have the, essentially uh, an inventory of where we are. So uh, there's a, a pending as of, this coming December 31st, a vacancy in one of the co chair positions, one of the secretary position where we don't know about treasurer or outreach coordinator. And we have two um, co chairs that are willing to be reconfirmed uh, tonight. What I want to do is, since we have a, by our bylaws a secret ballot election process, um, I want to make a motion to suspend the um, implementation of that selection process, uh, and if there's a second, I'll speak to it. Thank you, Pat. Second. Thank you, Lenny. There is a second. Mike Hawkins there. 
Thank you. The uh, so what I what I would like to do uh, is with that suspended is just to do uh, a motion for each for both separately, one for Derek and then one for Sarah to confirm them as co-chairs for uh, 2024, and then uh, we'll proceed with. Um, doing the selection process um, without hearing from CC and Denise, um, they will become vacancies also, but we'll, we'll deal with that in January. Okay, Why so, would we deal um, with that in January? Why would we me? deal with it right now? They're not here. They knew about it. Why would we postpone filling okay. their slots I think, uh, I, I, I'm, I, it's not personal for them or you i'm just curious like what would be the purpose of that well i think what my brain was doing was just to listen to their intent, intention but it, but i think you're right it, it really is the same thing either way it's the same thing it is a true vacancy at, at december 31st it's just as I explained to Sarah a moment ago. So, yeah, it's a vacancy for them whether they affirm something or not, as I said earlier. So, thank you, Sue. Um, that, that's more orderly than what I was doing. The, um, okay, I'll, I'll pause there, Pierre. Yes, uh, I have a question uh, with respect to the, the next steps uh, from the city to appoint in person people. We have some vacancies open. Like, uh, what what do we do? We have to do anything as the next steps to let them know, or what's the time frame for them to perhaps come back with some new opportunities? Okay, I, I can answer that. It is. There's a motion in a second, <laughs> so we're kind of constrained to deal with that. But I'll, I'll interrupt that and just say that I I sent as secretary a um, communication to the mayor's office and the city council um, to Teresa Kale Smith, the president of the city council, and to uh, the um, publicity and also Darius. I uh, have got the communication in the mayor's office as well as Maria of uh, which terms which commissioners' terms expire at the end of February. So they're, they've been notified uh, a couple weeks ago of the, the, the terms are expiring and that they they can just reconfirm the ones who have an intention on staying and those who um, don't have an intention and notify the commission. What I'll do is send an email to all the commissioners to, with all their term dates and uh, let them know that they should take action either to notify Wesley Williams, Darius, of the of their intention. Because it may um, make the process for each of them easier rather than having to reapply, which is possible. So, yes, that that has been um, initiated that the, the city council and the mayor's office are aware. The, so what we're what we could do now is I don't mind doing it. Um, Lenny, you have been doing it, but if you would like to do that, it would be that we would take uh, open the floor for nominations. Um, my intention was to if we have one co-chair um, vacancy. Oh, we have two two co-chairs that say they would be. Re up for the job. Let's. My, my thought was to do a motion and a, a voice vote on for each of them. As I was saying a moment ago, then we can go through the the other four. Billy, will I be making motions for Derek and Sarah first? I asked. Go ahead, I'm so it's hard to I can't get my hand waving here and all that stuff. So Sarah just told us that they really want to be not the co-chair. 
but need concerned about transition. So if we're doing a voice vote to reappoint Sarah, then it's kind of defeating the purpose of encouraging someone else to step up. And this this is tying into deeper issues that I think as a commission, we really need to wrestle with, but um, I'm, I'm not trying to squash the idea, Billy. I'm just, it feels like, how do we create room for more people to step forward if we don't literally create the room? Well, I think the, the te technical nature of this is that um, we asked Sarah whether she would continue, and she said yes. She said yes to it, and even if so, it's really going to be about how we, as commissioners, along with new commissioners, interact to encourage that space. But I think people um, would know about it. But with her in the role officially, uh, it comes uh, a known responsibility to do some of the, the basic things that a co chair does, such as facilitating our commission meetings monthly. So, I think at a minimum, uh, she's signing up to do that, and that burden would uh, fall only on Derek uh, if there would remain two vacant co-chairs, co-chair seat. So I think that there's some um, sensibility in, in doing what uh, Sarah said. She said, I don't want to speak for the family, because she's right here. But the, she said, yes, then we can confirm her. But she said she was trapped. That's what I, I'm, I'm trying to respond to what, just not the word, okay, I'll do it. And I don't want to put Sarah on the spot, but I just, I feel like two officers didn't show up for the elections. I mean, these are serious issues about who we are and what we're doing. This isn't just like a whimsical thing that somebody didn't come to a meeting. How do you not show up for the officer elections? as an officer without any notice, I assume? Sarah's here, she said yes. Well, well we can, hello, oh, this is Derek. Or we, can, turn the mic. we can go ahead and, and vote for me and then open up nominations for the other two co-chairs. And if we don't get any, then it will oh, make it fall back with Sarah. <clears throat> to clarify, are we moving towards elections or are we just covering nominations and whether or not people accept them? My idea was um, that we, I'll do it. I make a motion to confirm Derek Times as one of the co-chairs for 2024. If there's a second, we can do a voice vote. Or a discussion. Second. Second. Is there to be someone other than you, Lenny, since right now you have the gavel? <laughs> A uh, further clarification, not to come to work, works up for more than they already are, but uh, is a secret ballot process written into the bylaws. Yes, um, yes um, prior to this, I did a motion and there was a second to suspend the bylaws to do it by the voice vote. That's correct, I apologize. All right, so we have a second, uh, move and second for Derek. Let's move to a voice vote. All in favor of retaining Derek as a co-chair, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? I abstain. I'm sorry, Sue, did you say something? I abstain. Acknowledge. I make a motion that 
Sarah Rosso be confirmed um, as co chair of the commission for 2024? There's a second. Second. Thank you. Uh, Sarah's nomination has been moved and seconded. So, all in favor of Sarah being retained as a co chair, please say aye. Aye. Opposed. I abstain. I abstain here again. Motion carries. Is that? Is this? Is this reappointment of uh, Sarah on the uh, on the basis of? Denomination. No, but there currently is a um, co chair vacancy, which we now can open nominations for, as well as the other seats, the three other seats. Um, and if there's, there's more than one nominee who has, accepts and is interested, Sarah will. Suddenly, be aware of she's going to help with the transition. So, I think that the thing to do now is for the board to open nominations on each of the four remaining officer positions. Go in a, in a normal fashion, but we can do it by voice vote tonight. So, moving on then with nominations, uh, we'll begin with the vacant co chair. Position. Uh, are there any nominations? You may nominate a fellow member of the commission, or you can certainly self nominate as well. Um, I would like to uh, nominate Guillermo if he would accept. Uh, Yes, sir. I mean, I, I would love to be able to be a co chair and just worry about being too busy with my everyday work that I will not be able to uh, fulfill the job. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, Clarification, you are for clarification, you're refusing the nomination. Yes, Jeremy indicated yes. Are there any other nominations? Yes, me, yes, me, decline. That's correct. So we could nominate someone that isn't here, but they obviously they wouldn't be here to accept. Could that then be tabled to the next meeting? I don't know that we have to table it. We just can't do it. You know, we don't have. To, I don't have any communication from any commissioner that they would accept. We've done that when we've had a, a strong communication that someone would. Understood. So we will not move with any nominations of uh, commissioners that are not present. If this is this this is problematic for me because we don't know even if the mayor office is going to reappoint us. We do that periodically is always going to be an issue with our. Officers, if we, we want to, and it really doesn't make sense to change our cycle to match the end of terms because they're going to end up being scattered throughout the calendar over time by people coming and going. So it's January to December. If someone is elected as a co chair, you know, as Marcus was, um, 
right? But there's a code chair, and then just the term is in and in. We did a, a job of essentially lobbying the, the mayor's office to re, reappoint him to the commission, which the mayor's office did uh, for money also. And so we, um, I think that is the, the, the way that we proceed. But we have an obligation to do our officer elections in December, at least in Tampa. That's what we're doing. I nominate Chris Pitbull Robin. So, um, previously I served in this position, and you know I decided to resign from my duties, my responsibilities as well. I do have an intention of remaining on this issue and this time I serve. Any other nominations? Well, it seems as if there are no other possibilities here. I think we should go on. Okay. Yeah, three more. So, if, if if there are no more nominations for co-chair, uh, we'll close that and move on to the secretary. Um, do, are there any nominations for the position of secretary? <laughs> I nominate Billy. <laughs> Hearing no nominations, we'll move on to treasurer. Any nominations for the position of treasurer? Hearing none, we'll move on to outreach coordinator. Any nominations for that position? Hearing none, we'll close that one as well. So our current only officers are Derek Tynes and Sarah Ross, the co-chairs. I will I'll continue to, if it's okay with the commission, um, I will continue to um, do the minutes, do the, the email notices that I've been doing, and um, at least through February 28th, or if a uh, secretary is elected prior to that. When I said 28, I meant the day, not the year. <laughs> Richard, I could feel that. Do we need to make a motion on that, Billy? I don't think so. Okay, then that will really be. Billy agrees to stay on, on an interim basis until the end of his term as commissioner. Thank you, Billy. Not the secretary. I'm just I'm not the secretary, I'm just doing the work. So noted. And I apologize. I believe that closes the elections. At the end of your secretary, that is secretary's report. It's complete. Really noted. Uh, outreach coordinator is not here tonight. Um, can anyone speak to the Google Calendar for the social media plans? Yeah. Yeah. 
uh, we will move on. Uh, reports of special committee. Do we have an update on the pirates early plan Friday night? Another another game. Never, I think ever you referenced something last week. Are you with us? It's really hard to hear. I think you're asking for the Pirates Pride Night game update. Yes. Yes. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, yes. So just really briefly, um, I was able to meet with Niley uh, Russo again in October um, to just sort of wrap up what had happened last year. And so the update for the group is that um, they will be working earlier in 20. So what they have said is that they want to work earlier in 2024 um, to plan for the pride game. And they would like the commission to continue to be part of that effort. But we also had discussed that there were many organizations and community representatives that had been involved prior um, to our work with them last year. And so they will also be looking for opportunities to bring that larger group together to plan. Um, for any festivities and so on. And so um, we should look to an invite in the first quarter of 2024 to begin um, looking towards that game and providing some advice or feedback or suggestions for how they can improve that experience for um, people who go to the game as well as the in-park experience and staff support needed to make that an effective night for all. Sarah, is there a night or date already for Pride Night? Not to my knowledge, they have not even scheduled the first group meeting for Pride Month. So they may be looking at their calendar internally, but they have not shared that. And they also have not selected a date. Um, so I sent Nylee a follow-up email um, on Wednesday of this week, so yesterday, um, and I'm waiting a response back. So as soon as I hear um, to when that date might be scheduled in likely February, maybe early March. Um, I will share that with the group. Okay. Any thoughts, any comments? Thank you, Sarah. Uh, unfinished business, PA local legislative policy update. Anything soon? Sue's gone. Okay. Um, let's move on to new business. Um, do we have any new business? Other than the meeting with Dr. Boyd, I think that um, what she wants to do with us in the new year, we'll wait to hear from her and follow up. Thank you. Richard? Um, I know uh, we're um, in transition with Bruce Krause, and we just need an update of who possibly might be a representative from city council or um, somebody in that direction on our commission. I can report that we uh, brought up that issue in our communication to City Council um, when uh, the list of commissioners who had soon to be expiring terms. So that, that issue also was brought up. So the President of Council is aware of it, and the Council needs, and they're aware that they need to do some action with OSC. Is his um, Council seat ends even sooner than his term would have. Yeah. And I did attend last Tuesday at the city council and uh, um, both, both, uh, both Bruce Krauss and uh, uh, Vicki Burgess were are leaving. And so 
Bruce did introduce his replacement, and he I was, it was really impressive that he openly acknowledged Bruce and thanked him for um, shaping and molding him and preparing him as a mentor for stepping in. So I know we had a conversation, Richard, about Erica Spass River. Um, and so there, I, Bruce has, I think, some comments. So I think you may need to follow up with Bruce and see what he's suggesting. It was really wonderful to see him celebrated last week in the house full of people who were congratulating Bruce uh, on his work and his legacy. And I, I spoke, I stood and spoke for the commission and thanked him publicly um, for his service and being a part of the commission and um, well received. Any, any business that we need to add to this? Um, not just go on to the announcement, and we have the HRC Municipality Index. That was something I think that Sue uh, put out in our email. Um, and it looks like your hand is up. Okay. Oh, okay. And Sue is not here to speak about it. Does anyone else have anything to add about that? I know I saw an email yesterday uh, that said she hadn't gotten any responses to her email. Um, I have no comment. Okay. Nothing else? That's anything else about Bruce Cross that we want to add? Uh, I personally, as a friend of Bruce's, uh, just want to thank him publicly uh, for uh, being one of our first out uh, city council people. Uh, it's a, a, a big step uh, for the uh, city of Pittsburgh, and it's, it's wonderful to know that we still have representation in the mayor's office, um, and uh, I think it's uh, wonderful that we see uh, our city being that progressive, and uh, I want to thank Bruce, uh, again, as a personal friend, and what he's done for us in our community. Yeah, that's definitely great. Well, I want to add any comments. I, I did speak to, when I celebrated him and celebrated uh, Ricky Burgess, I also mentioned um, Councilman Dwayne Darkin. Uh, who was, he was quite a character, but he was very supportive of LGBT as well. So, I just want to, for the record, because I think you should all be called me. Um, I did get a, um, as far as announcements, I wanted to announce that I got a call from the City Theater. Um, they are planning um, to do Fat Ham in March, and they want to have a night where, well, they want to have a queer night and have special activities around the community. Um, maybe to talk back and some of the actors. Um, and so this conversation that has begun about trying to get the community to come out for the show doing something specific uh, on a couple of nights around our community. So uh, there'll be some more information coming about what that is. Yes. Um, on that same note, I got a, a call from CMU. They are doing a queer play in the spring, and they reached out to me to be one of the uh, people to talk to the actors. And also in March, have uh, a talk back after one of the performances. So I'm in a discussion with them about my availability. Uh, but if I'm not available, I'm hoping that somebody else might be able to do that. So I think we should also thank you. What's the name of the play? Oops, I forget the name. Sorry. Oops, I forget the name. That's shut up. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, I, I think we should also celebrate uh, the announcement that Billy made last week that he is the new president of the Teachers Federation. With the Federal Federation of Teachers. Somebody I'm a proud member and extraordinarily excited to have an army president. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. That's um and that is uh, part of the reason why I'm, I'm not going to be continuing as secretary and perhaps the commission. Move. Um, I like the word perhaps, so thank you. I heard that. And it's duly noted. Well, I, I made it made a statement on the meeting with Dr. Boyd that I would consider her request that I stay on. So that's what I'm doing. And we are close out that request. Okay, uh, if there's nothing else, I think we should thank you again, Guillermo, for hosting us tonight. And uh, I really thought to order a pizza and I you got to make at least they have had something to, to munch on. Uh, but that next meeting, we'll make sure that we have something. If we be a good person, we have some, some nibble to this. Uh, and we are hoping that Billy is better. He had an accident. And we're hoping that you have a speedy recovery um, and that you get out of that wrap up there. It looks mighty uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Anything you want to take, Guillermo, before we leave? Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, you're welcome to use the space in the time you you like to, and uh, try to have some mic close to the computer so that you you don't have to struggle too much with the audio. But it's a learning learning process. Thank you. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah, Michael. We plan to potentially rotate uh, in person meetings going into 2024, as I'm considering. It can be on the agenda to do that if there's an interest in it. Yeah, I, I, I said in our meeting last week that I think one of our problems have been that we have not been meeting in person. And I think that going forward, we've got to come out with the closet. And like be visible and be in touch with not just each other but the community. I think if we want to if we want to actually survive, we're gonna to have to do more in person stuff going forward. So we will continue. We will come back to that. Sure, Mr. Lamar, you can you can end the meeting. We don't even need a motion to adjourn. <laughs>